I love planning things. Anyone who knows me in real life knows that I like to stay organized, find ways to be more productive, and I'm always the friend who makes the spreadsheets before a trip. And I know there's a bit of an online debate regarding the merits of productivity and how we shouldn't really shape our lives around trying to be more productive. And while I kind of agree, because I think some people do take it too far and it can be unhealthy, I actually see it as I'm incredibly lucky to be busy and have things that I want to do and I can do. That isn't the case for everyone in the world and definitely hasn't been for many people throughout history. I mean, I probably have more agency and opportunities than any woman in my family before me. And as cliche as it sounds, I just wanna make the most of that. Part of intentional living to me, which is a main focus of this channel, is to plan things or at least write it down. Because it's hard to move towards the goals you have in life and just the life that you want in general if you don't have a framework to work within. Anyways, this is all to say that today I wanted to show you guys how I organize my life using Notion. And I'm really excited that Notion is actually sponsoring this video. I have been using Notion way before they even reached out to me, so I feel like this is a perfect collaboration. So probably no surprise to anyone who's seen my other videos, but I'm a bit of a minimalist and that extends to my digital life too. I was being nosy before filming this and I saw other people's Notion videos and I was really blown away by how aesthetic and interesting they are. So if you've seen those videos on the internet, you might laugh at mine because mine's very utilitarian in comparison. But for me, I've found that whenever I have like a very intricate journal or planner or whatever else, I end up not using it as much. If you guys have ever seen my budget spreadsheets on Etsy, it's the same thing, very utilitarian and simple because it just is how my brain works and I tend to use those kinds of things more. I've been able to curate my organizer to be just how I want it to be. That is one of the things I really like about Notion is that you can customize it so much that if you want it really intricate and aesthetic, you can do that. Or if you wanna be a little more utilitarian like me, you can also do that. So here's my Notion organizer. I call it It's a Good Life home base and it has like a flower and clouds. I'm trying to cultivate gratitude a lot more in my life because I've found it to be really, really helpful in making me more mindful more happy, less anxious. You'll also see in the italics, be grateful, be good, and think about what 90-year-old me would like to see. That is something I've been doing for years now. It used to be 80-year-old, but then I realized 80 is still pretty young, but I like to imagine what a much older version of me would think about the things that I'm doing today, how I'm using my time, how I'm living my life. A lot of things that have taken me a lot of courage to do, like going in digital nomading, texting that person back, all those things, I kind of look at it through the lens of like, what would this older Kara do? Anyways, I'm realizing that this is gonna be like a much more personal video than I typically have on here. I think normally I, I talk about issues that I'm really interested in, but you guys don't see as much about like my own own personal philosophy on life and how I live it. So I'm getting like a peek into my brain, very vulnerable. So I have my three categories, life, business, and then other slash miscellaneous. And then within those, I have three pages for each. And so I'll walk you guys through all of those. And hopefully it helps if you guys are looking to figure out ways to organize your own life. So here's my to-do list. I have it in a board with three different categories to do, do today and done. I might rearrange those categories at some point, but so far it's been working for me. The reason I have it to do versus like do today is because there's a lot of things that I know I have to do at some point, but it's not necessarily something I need to do today. So I try to put like everything that I, I can kind of think of and throughout the day, if something pops into my head, I can get on my phone and write it down in here. And what I try to do is right before I go to bed, I try to plan out my next day because it helps with sort of decision paralysis in the morning. You don't have to think about like, oh, what do I have to do first, blah, blah, blah. It's already done from the night before, but I really like that this board allows you to move things around. So that's my to-do list. And like I said before, having a time at night right before I go to bed to plan everything out for the next day has helped my productivity so much. It's helped me be a lot more intentional with my time when I wake up because you're you're groggy and you don't know what to do and so I can just immediately look on my list and then I can figure out what I want to get checked off next. All right, let's go back to the home base. Gratitude journal is another really important one for me. So I created this little button here, which I really like that you can do. Um, and every time you click it, you can see it makes a new date and then I have little bullets. So that way it's all in one place. I'd had another Notion template I bought one time where the journal would create like a whole new page every time. And I didn't like that very much because I liked being able to scroll down and see 
all the things I was grateful for over the days and they kind of shift day to day based on like what I was feeling or what I was doing. But yeah, you can just keep on clicking and it'll make new ones and new ones. And since this is a partly financial channel, I want to include here that I think gratitude journaling is a really great tool for living more frugally and not spending too much. Because when you're grateful for the things you already have, it sort of tempers down that desire to keep up with the Joneses, always get the newest and latest things. So in a way, gratitude journaling is a part of good financial health. Next is journal. I'm not gonna scroll too much because it is my journal, but I think that the most recent entry, there's nothing too juicy in there. So I'm gonna click in that. And just like my gratitude journal, I created this button here. So when I click it, it just again makes the date. This time it doesn't have the bullet points, but it allows me to just like freely write anything that I want here. I think the less friction I have, the more likely I am to use this. And I'm trying to journal more often because I think it's a great way to unclog your brain a little bit more so as easy as i can get it to just write even a few sentences a day is is great so that is the life category the first one are more like external things things that i'm doing trying to accomplish and then the other two are more internal things because i think that's really important to making yourself productive and happy so my next category is business and i will just say I do not have any nine to five stuff in here because I do have a nine to five job on top of doing YouTube and all of that. And I just don't want to, I don't want to see any part of work when I'm living my life. You know, I think a separation is really important. I don't have notifications on my phone for work. I don't check my email or anything like that. If I'm on vacations or weekends, I believe in like a really strict wall. And that means that in my life organizer, I don't want to see a speck of my nine to five job in there, not a spec. So this business category is my personal business stuff, things that I've been trying to build on the side. As you guys can probably guess, YouTube is one of the main parts of this side business. Uh, so I have YouTube video planning here. You guys are gonna see a sneak peek into some of the videos that I'm thinking of making here. I have another place where I, I have thrown in even more ideas. I'm hiding it in a different Notion page because I don't want you guys to see every idea. I have to leave some some as surprises. Also, some aren't good. I'll just I'll just say that. One of the ones that I'm scripting right now is one on MLMs, so that's in here. I can click into here. I have potential titles here. I usually, when I'm scripting a video, I start with notes on like general things that I wanna hit on before I start writing the actual script. And so the nice thing of here is that I can just type it all in this document. I can type it in Notion. I don't have to build out another Google Doc or email myself things or anything like that. And like I've said before, I can add it on my phone. Something I'm trying to do more because I heard about this in a podcast is to use the tiny bits of time in your life to write because sometimes we think if I want to write or really I mean do anything creative but I think especially writing we need like big time blocks I need to have two hours free and there's some days where that's not gonna happen so find the little bits of time if I have a few minutes in between meetings I can pull out my phone and just jot some notes down all that to say having notion on my phone has just reduced the friction a little bit more I think that's a lot of productivity is like where can you make it easier for yourself moving on we've also got biz goals which are my business goals um this is more like a manifesty type of page for myself just having things that i'm aiming towards because i feel like it's really helpful to write down what you actually want because if you don't know what you want how are you supposed to move in that direction one of my biggest goals this year and it was a reach goal for end of 2023 i thought like maybe this is too ambitious it was hitting 50,000 subscribers by the end of 2023 and i think like a week or so ago i ended up hitting that and now I'm over 60,000, I think. So it's been really, really crazy how quickly that happened. So I added a new one here, which has hit 100,000 subs by end of year. And I put the little plaque on there to help me feel motivated. I think manifesting works in that, you know, it says here like setting goals, turn the invisible into visible. Like you just don't know fully what you want. You can't move towards something if you don't know what it is. So those are my business goals. The next on my business category is TikTok and shorts planning. So this is all short form content. I need to, you know, probably dedicate a little bit more time to fleshing out my short form strategy because uh, it's just something that I like have as a, a lower priority than the long form YouTube videos. That's where I really enjoy putting time in. If you have any ideas for short form stuff that you want me to do, 
let me know. I'll add it here. And onto the last category, which is other slash miscellaneous. So I've got here master's degree. So I'm not in a master's degree yet, but I am applying for one. And then once I'm in those classes, I wanna be able to have all my notes consolidated here. So they're really easy to find and search for when I need to study. I also created a button here, which is what I did with the gratitude journal and the normal journal. But this one actually makes a whole new page. Then I can go back and it's listed already in my table. Next on my life planner, probably the best page, my Rex list. This was an idea I had a few months ago to build this out because there were constantly like friends in my life telling me, oh, you gotta see this movie or you gotta see this TV show or there were books I would hear about in podcasts and I would wanna go check out, but I, I couldn't do it in the moment. So, so what I did is I made this Rex list. So this is sort of my need to watch it. I need to read it. I just need to check it out. So I have different movies here, different TV shows, books, articles, and videos. And this has been so helpful. I highly recommend people go and create a recommendations list like this because when I'm at the library now and I'm like, not sure what to look for, or what to get, or if it's movie night and I have friends coming over and you're stuck in the cycle of like, oh, what should we watch? What should we watch? I can have my list and be like, well, these are things that I've been meaning to watch. Let's pick one. Having a place where I can actually check what I wanted to see, what I wanted to watch has been really nice to have. And last but not least, I have my subscription audit. So this is something I like to do every like three-ish months. The last one that I did was on May 1st and I will write down everything that I have a subscription on. So I have Jim, I do Lingo, CapCut, and Apple TV. Those are my four different subscriptions right now. I actually don't have Notion because I use the free version. Uh, so that's why you don't see it here. And then I have what's the cost and what's the reasoning. And this has been something that just in finance in general has been really helpful is to journal why I have that expense. How do I feel about that expense? Is it still worth it to me? All of that I think really helps you improve your relationship with money. Anyways, it's been really helpful for me to do these subscription audits because I think subscriptions are just such an easy way to lose money every month. They're so easy to sign up for and then forget about. So this is me trying to beat the companies at their own game, you know? But that's my subscription audit. I really like that I can build out a table here in Notion and I can have all these different formats from boards to tables to checklists to whatever else. And it's all living in the same place and it's all very easy to get on my phone too. It lets me curate things exactly how I see it in my brain and however works best for me. And I really like that about it because again, I think the more that I can sort of fit my organizer to fit what's going on in my brain and the more I can reduce friction, the more more I'm actually gonna use these things and the more it ends up benefiting my life. But anyways, this is my life organizer on Notion. It hopefully it gives you a peek into my process and my brain and a little bit of my philosophy on life too. And in case your brain works similar to mine, I made a templated version of my organizer and you can check it out for free down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and thank you so much Notion for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate all of you guys for watching my content and supporting this channel. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys next time time. Bye.